Hey everyone, welcome to a new video of my multiplayer server. In this video I will show you everything that was built in round 16. Round 16 had a bit of a special team, because everybody had to build a, a nice looking garden, instead of a park with big uh, coasters. And also all the guests uh, prefer less intense rides, so even if someone built a intense roller coaster then nobody would ride, would ride it. So, uh, some really cool gardens were uh, created in this uh, round. And some people took the garden team, uh, well, yeah, they implemented in a very, uh, very special way. So, uh, I think I'll just start in the lower corner and then just snake my way through all of the plots until we end here at the final plot, which was also uh, ranked the best, by the way. So, here in the corner we have. Uh, D Gomez Garden. Uh, so yeah, he's one of our less experienced players, but uh, I still think he did a nice job. Lots of uh, flowers in his garden, uh, and he surrounded everything with fences. The fences do look a bit monotonous, I think. Uh, could have probably done with a bit less of that. Also, some of the fences, well, at least this one, they look like they're on a different tile. So if you don't uh, are not familiar with this, so if you if you want to place a wall or fence on the edge of a tile, there's actually two places you can put it. So on this tile, and you can also place it on this tile. So there's actually one pixel or two pixels difference. So if you make a fence like this and then put one on a different tile. This one will be a bit to the front. But yeah, overall uh, not a bad job in this plot. Oh here, this plot was made by Oli414 and this was my uh, favorite uh, plot of the round. The yeah, end it didn't uh, get into the top 5, but uh, I loved the story that came into this plot. That was sent in with this uh, plot. So, uh, if you look at this part, you may recognize a scene from Evergreen Gardens. It's also the first thing I thought. And the story of this plot was that uh, the peeps on Evergreen Garden uh, realized that everything around the land was a big black void. And they realized they were stuck on Evergreen Gardens and then whenever they left the void, so whenever peeps leave a park, they would just disappear. And that's also what happens, because they will just uh, despawn when they leave the park. So they were afraid and they would stay in the park forever. And at some point, the creator of the park, which they just named the claw, because uh, that's what it looks like when you hold a peep, the claw. At some point, the creator just left the park, but the time for a year would just keep running. So they were stuck in the park forever and then they just started uh, creating buildings with all the materials they could find. So that's all these buildings you see around this part of Evergreen Gardens. And they even made attempts to escape uh, the park trying to jump the void. So here you also see a piece of a coaster called Project Leap of Void Memorial. So I guess this is part of a coaster which they would try to use to uh, escape the void by jumping out of it. Well, obviously that uh, probably didn't uh, didn't work very well for them. But yeah, I loved the story of the plot and uh, I love these uh, buildings that are created around it, also with a trend going around it. All this infrastructure that was created by the by the guests who were stuck on this land. So yeah, a great story. Uh, Sally didn't score very well, but uh, I rated this uh, plot 10 out of 10 because I loved it so much. Okay, here's the next plot. Again, this is a more traditional kind of garden made by Stu, known from his uh, YouTube channel. He made this uh, lovely little lake with uh, the rowing boat ride on it and his little uh, children's uh, playground on it, which also looks uh, really cool. It's a bit messy though, maybe I should uh, get a handyman to, uh, to, to clean it up. 
that's a lot better. Anyway, it's uh, it's simple, but uh, it works and uh, looks uh, looks very nice. Okay, here uh, we have another uh, huge. Uh, well, yeah, this is more of an uh, achievement, I guess. This plot was made by Scoop. I think it was the first round uh, Scoop joined in, and Scoop immediately got uh, second place in his uh, first attempt. And man, this plot looks great. It's a bit too symmetrical for my taste, but still, uh, everything here looks uh, amazing. This round uh, allowed for a lot of custom scenery to be placed, and uh, I guess that was right in this alley. Also, <laughs> damn, this uh, this looks amazing. Really good stuff. I love these uh, pillars that he made with uh, used uh, by placing uh, pipe pieces from the mechanical theme. And I love this overgrown uh, look, and also the water around it looks uh, really nice. Right here we have the next plot. This one was made by Don Leo. I don't remember Don Leo playing in any of the previous runs, so for his first uh, play in this uh, on my server, it's a pretty nice looking plot. So he made this big building. Bit of finds on the side, lots of windows, some nice decorations, and there's this uh, car ride with vintage cars uh, traveling through the through the plot. He made the track invisible. Uh, I'm not sure if that was the right choice for these uh, cars. So I'm not sure how well these vintage cars would do uh, while riding through the dirt. But anyway, I I like the look of this uh, this building. Looks very nice. Oh, the cars are actually uh, on the outside here, on the back. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Okay, here we have the next plot. This one was made by uh, Vici Swaz. He made this really uh, old looking, uh, looking city. Uh, I forgot a bit what the story was about, but I, th I, I think it was about an uh, old and uh, yeah, city that was a bit, uh, yeah, what do you call it? A poor area. And the people just got together and started uh, making this uh, community garden here in the middle. And I really like the contrast of these sort of uh, old uh, buildings. And then this uh, nice little garden that's uh, sprouting here in the middle. I think it's very, uh, very believable. So I like this part of uh, rail track that he also put here. So oh, nice job. Uh, I don't think he scored very well in this round. Because it's kind of a risky theme to go for, especially when other people created these uh, huge gardens. But I think it's a nice interpretation of the theme. Okay, here we have the next plot. This one was made by Plasma Wolf, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Plasma Garden. He made these, actually these four uh, little gardens, each with own, a bit with their own uh, theme and look. And yeah, he combined them into this big uh, plot. I think it's uh, quite pleasant to look at. And I really like this uh, rowing boat uh, going around this little island. And even through this uh, tunnel here. So I think the colors in this uh, part of the garden work uh, work really well. I like the little wood pattern he made with these quarter tile pieces. So uh, good job. Okay, here we are with the next plot. This one was made by Burp, and Burp got third round in this uh, third uh, place in this round. Yeah. Burp made this uh, Asian themed uh, plot and it looks really good. I love these uh, buildings that he made and he even made a coaster going around the plot. He made sure not to make the intensity too high or else uh, peeps would not uh, want to ride it. But uh, the Asian theme is uh, very believable. I really like the buildings that were made here. And all the plants uh, that were put here all look really good. So uh, well deserved uh, third place. Very nice job. Okay, here's the next plot. This one was made by Yaron. 
was more of a joke plot. Uh, may, uh, may not look uh, like much to you, but uh, maybe you can see the joke a bit better now. Still quite difficult to see, but uh, yeah, here it's possible to see in the map. Basically, these parts spell out give points. <laughs> So I guess that's what was his uh, strategy to get a uh, high uh, rank in this round. Unfortunately, it uh, didn't work, and he actually became one of the lowest uh, scoring uh, players in this round. But uh, nice try, Yara. <laughs> okay, here's the plot made by uh, Yulo. He also had a very unique uh, interpretation of uh, the garden theme. So he made this old uh, city. Uh, old New York or New Old York, <laughs> I don't remember what it's uh, called again uh, precisely. But yeah, he made this uh, this old city and still quite uh, futuristic looking. So with these uh, monorail cars that uh, that he put here and all these cars that are parked down here, and he made this cool little gardens uh, above the city. On, surrounded by a monorail track and it's sort of like a floating gardens above the city he connected them with these uh, pieces and all these kinds of supports and this was also one of my uh, favorite plots of the round I can sell you some cocaine this is nice <laughs> okay so a very unique interpretation of, uh, of this uh, garden theme and uh, I love the way it, uh, it looks. Okay, here's uh, another one of my favorites of this round. This one was made by Terry Inferno. He got 5th uh, place in this uh, round. And with the high quality of most of the plots, that's uh, really good, I think. He uh, made this uh, River Rapids ride. And it just looks uh, beautiful in this uh, landscape. I love how we uh, surrounded uh, it all with uh, nice looking uh, monorail walls. So we basically stacked three uh, three pieces of monorail on top of each other here. Sur all surrounded by quarter tile scenery. This looks really good. I will uh, show you how to do this in one of my next videos. Because uh, these uh, walls made of uh, rides, they, they work really well when executed uh, nicely. And this plot is a beautiful example of that. Okay, here's the next plot made by Louis. Louis, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I'll uh, I'll say Louis. Um, he made this uh, little Ro Roman garden. Also, uh, I loved the love, especially this half of the plot. Uh, I love this little uh, theater he made, I guess. Uh, put some ruins here and her, what I like most about the plot is uh, what he did to this uh, Colosseum so he actually uh, moved certain parts up and down and he gave it this uh, stared look which actually makes it look more like the Colosseum uh, that's in Rome because it's uh, partly uh, broken down or maybe some parts of it were higher than others but I love the way uh, he made this thing look I was less uh, happy about this side of the plot. By the way, I love this uh, this long column that he made. I guess it's the leftovers of an uh, aqueduct. It looks really cool. And then he made these rows of trees. I think he could have done a bit more with uh, this part of the plot. The trees are all the same. He said that that's the way the Romans built it. And that could very well be, but I don't think it looks very, uh, very interesting. But yeah, this part of the plot is, uh, looks really nice, in my opinion. Okay, then we have the next plot. This one was made by RWE. He said he made this in a very short time. And I think it uh, shows. It was one of my uh, less favorite uh, plots in this round. So actually, uh, it looks very overgrown and a bit messy. The center area looks a bit glitchy. I think uh, I didn't score too well. Okay, here's uh, my plot in this round. I also wasn't too happy about uh, what I built here in this round. Um, 
I was quite happy with the outside plot. So also just like Terry uh, Inferno, I stacked lots of uh, monorail walls, but I decided to make an island out of them with several layers, and then all these uh, gardens uh, filling the top of those layers. Also, this uh, it actually looks quite uh, overgrown, and uh, not particularly nice to look at, I think. And this building in the middle, I also didn't have uh, lots of uh, inspiration. I didn't really know what to put here. There's guests walking around in this building, which does give it a nice touch. But, uh, I wasn't particularly happy about the building. So that's probably also why I finished around 8th place, I think, or 7th. So yeah, I've done better in other rounds. But uh, I will, I will uh, share in, the in one of my next tutorials how to uh, make these stacked walls. I think uh, they look quite good. Okay, here's the next plot. This one was made by Biralto. He uh, put uh, this little coaster here. Well, it's called a disco. It's a ride you may, probably may recognize from some uh, some parks. I think it looks uh, looks pretty cool. I like the way he did these uh, supports. Uh, wooden post uh, fences and overall this garden is just uh, nice to uh, nice to look at some nice little uh, little maze here uh, these buildings also look uh, look quite nice I just wish this plot this plot had a little bit more uh, content to look at but overall uh, not uh, not a bad job so these fences uh, look pretty cool in my opinion Okay, and here we have the final plot. This one got uh, first place. This one was made by Ferrari for the win, and it just looks really good. I like these uh, these rivers, these uh, these rapids that uh, go throughout the plot. This water wheel uh, made by using a Ferris wheel gives it a really nice touch. I really like the way how it's performed. And also, uh, I like these uh, invisible paths that the guests uh, walk on here. So a very well uh, executed plot and uh, also uh, very well deserved uh, first place. Alright, that was it for uh, round uh, 16. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to join any of my uh, multiplayer rounds, uh, you can join my Discord. The link is in the description. And I hope to see you again in the next video. See you later!